His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales concluded his royal tour of Australia in Darwin. The ceremony was a public event that drew a huge crowd of onlookers and well-wishers. One of the final duties for His Royal Highness was the laying of a wreath at the Darwin Cenotaph to commemorate Australian servicemen and women who served in war, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. They went with songs to battle. They were young. Straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Well, I think the significance of the wreath laying is when he's here as a representative of, uh, of the British Empire, many of the lives that were lost at the front of this did so under the guise of being a part of the British Empire. And the laying of the wreath uh, acknowledges uh, the lives and the sacrifices that were given by Australians and particularly Territorians you know, in the battle for what was then his empire. And so it is entirely appropriate that he come here and specially recognise uh, those men and women. After the ceremony, the Prince of Wales spent some time speaking to families of fallen soldiers and greeting the crowd. Oh, it was terrific uh, meeting him again after 40 years and he remembered us because he said there were eight Australians and eight New Zealanders and you were chosen to do the world tour. And you played deck hockey, didn't you? I said, yeah. I said, yeah, I was the one who kept on doing the slapstick and then you kept on saying, keep the darn stick down, Aussie. This was the 16th visit to Australia for His Royal Highness with his last visit to the Territory being in 1988.